Yoop yoop. Um, so we're just going to do an audio test uh, comparing the Sony Action Cam's inbuilt microphone, uh, this pathetic microphone headset that I've been using for voiceovers previously, and then we've got the Rode Video Mic Pro, uh, which will all be fed into the Sony Action Cam, and we will see the differences. Okie dokies, this is the headset plugged in. Maybe it's pathetic, maybe it's not. Maybe it will um, prove to be a surprise contender for best recording. So, I've been using this for all uh, my voiceovers I've done so far, and it's not been bad considering uh, it cost about 10 bucks. I don't even remember where I got it from. Alrighty, this is with the uh, Video Mic Pro. It's just turned on. Um, yeah, I've just turned it on. There's no high pass filter uh, and there's no amplification. I'm not actually too sure if this Sony Action Cam will even supply any preamp or whatever it is to make this thing work, so we will have to wait and see. Uh, I'm going to flick it over now to uh, the high pass filter, which we'll see what that does to the final audio. Okay, it's now on high pass filter and a gush of wind just went past. That'll be interesting to see how that turned up. So, yes, this is with the high pass filter on. I have no idea what that does. So, this is a learning curve. Uh, okay, let's try the amp. All right, we're at negative 10 dB. So, either I'm really hard to hear right now or before I was, um, I don't know, I'm just trying to make stuff up. <laughs> Let's try uh, positive 20, plus 20 dB. So this is probably maxed out right now. Um, we'll see how this thing goes. Fingers crossed, it sounds really, really good. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you can hear birds or wind in the background or anything like that. Anyways, that's the test.